Cannon. What's up guys, this is another, another episode of Journey of a Basketball Player. I'm in Las Vegas right now, just played a game today for the CBL Exposure League. Um, just moved to Vegas, um, and the league, as far as it seems like it's a good competition, I mean, some of the guys that we have on the team, uh, probably they haven't played professionally before, but uh, it shows maybe a lot of promise. Um, as far as you, you got to just go on through the, I guess, the organization and how and how it's organized. But for right now, I mean, there's been a lot of loopholes and people trying to get you know guys to play games and stuff. But um, I guess it all boils down to the team and how now the team is uh, trying to get trying to get a. Uh, I guess the game, their games in, and try to try to find opponents to play. So I guess it's just the willingness of the team, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm staying at the Palace Station. If you want to look at my my room, this is what I'm living in. It's basic. Got the got the got the laptop going. Got a. Uh, just finished taking the camera off. I got two beds. I asked for a king size bed. And I got two beds. The room stinks as soon as you get in. You'd be like, what the hell? You know. I had to drink the water because, you know, nigga, I cramped up. So that wasn't cool. And, you know, I got the necessities over here. You know, toothbrush, toothpaste. Deodorant, gotta stay fresh. I can eat some of this beef jerky though. Beef jerky. Hey, you gotta pray for high speed internet. Look at this. Look at that. No free Wi Fi. Got the Frosted Flakes for tomorrow. <laughs> Cause ain't no free graphics. This is my stuff right here. Got the shoes out. Can't really see outside. I'll show y'all tomorrow, tomorrow morning. But yeah, right now I'm just in the, in the process of looking for an apartment. Just moved to Vegas this week, yeah. So, me, I'm planning on playing in probably as many camps as I can, trying to get so much exposure going. And also, uh, getting these games and I'm trying to play these minor league teams in these minor league games and these minor league leagues because I need more stuff on my resume man. and I feel like LA is kind of holding me back as far as getting placed on the team and stuff they got their guys and they don't want nobody else getting on like it's crazy I never understand that but it's for to <laughs> trying to develop players. Well, they don't develop the players that they want to develop. You know? So right now, I'm playing Fairfield. You know? I'm trying to leave a lasting impression on the coach or something like that, or a GM. So I can, you know, get on the team. Get some adequate minutes. Because all I need is a couple cool games. You know? A couple cool stats. You know? If I average 15 and 10, I'm cool, you know, or 15 and 7, you know, a couple assists, I still a block, I'm all good, you know, it's crazy, this is how crazy the room is though, let me show you this, this is real crazy, I've never seen Hotel do this shit. None. It's absurd. Absurd. 
I put this on because if you don't, with it being at the stereo sign, clean lady come on. Look at this though. So I'm in Vegas, in a hotel, and the pool hour said six to ten for the pool. Six to ten for the pool. So these guys locks up the whole everything. You can't even get out. That shit crazy. You can't even get out. Like this is the easiest way to go to the courtyard. Like I don't even want to go to the pool or the spa or whatever the case is. I just want to go down these steps. There's a little row, you can hardly see it. You can see it all the light up. And he heads to a door out there. That's all I want to do. Is just go right here. I gotta walk my black ass down that hall, around the corner, down the stairs, around the corner, down another hall, just to get over there. It's crazy. I ain't never seen this shit. I should just hit. I should hit this just so I can open this. Like if we had a fire, this is a fire hazard. Like. I feel like that's not right. You know? On top of that, like, I don't know. I know this is probably my last time staying here. Like, if I stay here, it's like last resort. I might stay at the stratosphere. Shit. No. Heading back to the room, though. Starting looking like more like a whistle call. Got the, you see, got the knee brace. Shh. Official. No. Oh, my brush can't leave home without it. No. Mm. Brush in here. Mm. Mm hmm. No. Got an extra whistle call. An extra backpack. Got the basketball backpack. But you know, got the Dre beats now. You know. All the official ballers got the Dre beats. I was like, you know, I guess I wasn't official. Then I got the Dre beats and became official. You know, got the charger behind here. I'm still gonna use that alarm clock just because safety hazard. My car keys right there, wallet. This is my. What is this? Little sweats. This is the jersey. This is the temporary jersey. This is the team we play for right now. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put it down. Los Angeles Dynasty. Right there. This is for the exhibition as well. This ain't the official though. It's officially uh, Fruit of the Loom now. Check the tag. No tag. Tag this. Number six. Not spectacular, you know, I got the shoes, you know, it was like, oh, you match the stuff, you know, but black and gray shoes, 50 bucks, not hard, it's crazy, because the guys, they stay in, out that way toward Ontario, I got them at the Ontario Mills, man, Nike outlet, no, no, I didn't get these ones, I got those at the other one, other Nike outlet, Citadel, out in LA. Take that back. I got some other I got some cooler shoes. At the Nike outlet. You see me with them on. Shoe game tight. Shoe game tight this summer. Shoot. Gotta get the nails done though, because shoot, can't be dunking in the, in the layup line and as soon as I come back to land, I'm scraping everything. But pretty much that's pretty much it. Two. That's my room number. I don't know. The only thing I like about this one, I guess, is, is this. The Holy Bible. Guess you can't leave home without it. You know. It's a number for another team. I'm trying to get in touch with them. It's me over there doing my homework right now. As far as like. Basketball teams, 
I'm writing down uh, apartments so I can have my kids and them stay out here, you know, before I go to overseas. But uh, it's my resume. I always write it down as far as where I played, and it's going to pretty much be pretty, pretty full. So get some legit experience. And uh, these are all the Italian teams in uh, the lower league, Italian like uh, regional C. So I'm gonna hit these up, these guys up this summer. Get this film together, and then uh, you know I'm trying to get over there. There's might maybe a good chance of me playing in Romania this summer rather than last summer because they made a new rule at the last minute saying that uh, foreigners uh, are prohibited to play in the second league so that's what I gotta get ready for you know can't play around you know just turned 27 so you know I gotta get it right get it tight um, pretty much this is my room. Nothing too spectacular. Like I said, that's that, that's that. Let me lock this door. It says, investigate, locate fire alarms, extinguishers, know how to turn out the air. Like, alright, whatever. Like, if there's a fire going on, I'm not doing none of this. I'm probably taking this right here, and I'm throwing it at that door. So I could break it. Buff game. But yeah. It's, I mean, I just have like just one positive experience down here in Vegas. I don't want to do too much, hurt too much. I'm not asking for too much. I'm trying to play in a new era basketball league too. You know, I have a backup for my backup. You know, just in case I need to, you know, go down to Mexico and play this year. But the game got me tight, so. You know, once I get the game tight and right, and get back to killing. Like I was, like last summer, just kill it. Just didn't do no camps. You know, I was caught up working. This summer, messed up Bolivia. Could have played in Bolivia. But I was going to school. And I guess this is my second. Another chance to me come around, so. That's it. Got to take it one day at a time, you know. Put God first, and put me first. But, that's pretty much it. You can see my bathroom? You can see my bathroom. I have the tiles. I use one. And that one fell in it. <laughs> this one right here fell in here. That's not being used. That one's cool. I still got toilet tissue. I still have soap because I really don't use their soap. Is it shampoo? Oh, body lotion. That shit ain't working. I probably use a shampoo, but for the most part, I got the Luffy. <laughs> got the body soap, you know? I know we don't get that body soap. 
only, you know, once in a while. Because I got another tub that I get, big body. Bam. And you get this. I'm not sure if you got to pay for everything on here. This shit is just crazy. But, for the most part, my black ass is not tripping. As a part of ongoing commitment, and furthermore, a tar wreck means I will use the town. Town of Forest means please exchange. So basically, I'm gonna have to just put that towel on the floor because I don't want to exchange it. So, I mean, I do want to exchange it. Bam. He's got the AC blowing. It's 74. It's supposed to be a hundred and supposed to be 102 tomorrow. Today was like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. But, man, I might have to open this shit. Just got. Mitch. And they stop. Vegas doing it up right now. Fuck it. No flat screen. I went from a, another room, flat screen, free Wi Fi, grab and go graphics, to uh, this. Then I guess this is what you paid for. You know, paid a little more for the other one. Paid like a buck, tw buck 20 or something like that or a night. This one, I'm paying like $27 for the Thursday. 57 for Friday, 57, 59 for, for what's it called, for, what, for Saturday, and 24, 27 for, or 25 for Sunday, because nobody stays here, just to leave here Monday morning, so, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to apartment hunting, get this thing done. But the Vegas grind is gonna be all right, man. I'm gonna show you everything. I might, you know, show some footage of us playing. Might just take out the camera while we're playing and be like, "Yo, this is what we're doing right now. Like, this is what we're doing." But I'm gonna let y'all go. This is only uh, only what day one, day two, day one of the journey. No, day two of the journey, day one of playing, so tomorrow's gonna be day two. And I'll be I'll be on it. Gotta get some sleep. It's twelve forty. Got a game at one. Got two games. One at one, I think another one at six. We play the second the same team tomorrow. Then we play New Mexico team. Or we might play two different teams. It all depends. So gotta get the rest. Gotta stay hydrated. Hydrated. That's all I got the waters. Everybody's having farm cookies, though. To mix with the frosted flakes. Niggas don't know about that, though. I don't know about that, though. And I'm not even put the Hermes's peanut butter cups in there, too. Subway. You fresh. I just can't fill a body with garbage. I ain't eat all that. McDonald's. So horrible. But, that's it. It's time to go. Bye bye. See you later. This is Josh. Ending. Journey of a basketball player.